This video will show you how to embed some interactivity into your PDF document. I'll show you how to do two things in here. How to create simple navigation from page to page and uh, also how to uh, make it so that somebody can email you by simply clicking on a link within your PDF file. These things are done with the hyperlinks window, which we will get to in just a minute. But first you have to understand that an interactive PDF is different than a regular PDF, which is often meant to be printed. This is strictly meant to be viewed on screen and mimic the interactivity that we're kind of used to getting when we are on the internet. So the first thing we need to do is actually change our workspace from the normal workspace to an interactive workspace. And so I'm gonna go up to the top here and change from my existing workspace and pull down to interactive for PDF. That will really do nothing else but change the windows. We have easy access here over to the right. And you'll notice that one of these windows we have access to is the hyperlinks window. So before I open that though, let me just click on this arrow right here. Uh, because that is what I want to be my first navigation element. So this is a close-up of the front cover for the example that uh, you've been shown. And uh, when I click that, I want the viewer to go to the next page of the document. So with that marked, I can go to my hyperlinks window, open that up. There are different ways that you can create your hyperlinks, but I'm only going to show you one because I think it's the best one. Right. If I go down to the bottom of this window, you will see there is a create new hyperlinks button. Go ahead and click on that and that will open up this window. And you'll see at the top here, you have different choices for what you can navigate to. You can navigate to a URL, a file, an email, page, text anchor, and shared destination. So what we're gonna do here is navigate to another page. So I'm gonna choose that, and then I simply have to tell uh, InDesign which page I would like to navigate to. So I can just click on the up arrow here, go to page two, zoom setting. So that means what kind of a view do you want the viewer to have um, when they go to this page? And so I'm gonna leave it at fixed, which basically means whatever their window is when they click on this, it will stay the same um, when they go to the next page. Uh, the stuff on the bottom, I hardly ever mess with. You do have the ability to go in and indicate links by, instead of having an invisible rectangle, you can have a visible rectangle, but I don't really recommend you do that. Um, make it obvious that that's a clickable link by some other method than turning on a rectangle, which really looks pretty ugly. Yeah. Uh, so that's it. I'm going to click OK. And you'll notice that we have now added this little action, this hyperlink into this window. And what it's done is it has named it after the graphic object which has been imported. Now, if I want to change that, I can go up here to the menu in the upper right corner of the hyperlinks window, and I can pull down to rename hyperlink. I'm actually okay with arrow right because that's pretty descriptive. So I'm going to leave that alone. Okay. Uh, but that is how you create a navigation element to another page. Um, I'm just going to reduce my view here and then scroll up to pages two and three. And so page two here um, also have a has a navigation arrow right there. And then we also have these different navigational items as well. So this is a table of contents. And so I would like somebody to be able to go to a particular project just by clicking on the thumbnail and or the piece of type. So I'm just gonna mark that picture first and this is on page uh, page five so I am going to have it navigate to page five when I click on this so back to hyperlinks uh, create a new hyperlink destination and this is going to again go to a page and the page it's going to go to is three four five you, you think you're so smart same view everything else the same click OK all right, so I would go ahead and do that for all of these pieces. And then of course, all of these arrows, I would continue to do that as well. So the one other thing I wanna show you um, here in this video is how to link to an email, because this is a requirement of this project. 
And so I'm going to get my type tool down here, and I am just going to drag over that piece of type that says your CSUF email, and then do exactly the same thing again. New hyperlink, and this time instead of linking to a page, I'm going to link to email. So right here where it says your CSUF email, because that's what the type down here said, that's where you want to put in your address. And so I'm going to have this go to my Fullerton email account, which you should too. And then subject line. So you can actually have a subject line automatically put into the email. So let's see. So what a what a marvelous little greeting that would be to somebody receiving this email. Yeah. Uh, shared hyperlink destination. We didn't talk about this before, uh, but this just means that it will put this into a list that you can choose again if you need to link to that same location. So leaving that checked is good as if you think you might use this again. Uh, character style, so I'm just going to leave it the same as it currently is, and then all the stuff on the bottom, leave that alone as well. And then click OK, and you'll notice over here it's added that, and it has also um, given us a little icon here showing that this is a little letter here, that that is an email. And let's go ahead and export this, and then take a look at this in Acrobat Reader. So I'm going to go up to File, pull down to Export, a command E or control E on a PC and then I am just going to put this into a particular folder and uh, let's see I don't want to call this video page I'm gonna call this uh, interactive and uh, then make sure at the bottom that this is formatted for Adobe PDF interactive if it's not then change it to that that's very important and then finally click save that will bring up this window and uh, I'm just going to export the whole thing so I'm going to click all uh, definitely spreads should be checked and then when this opens what view would you like the user to have so I'm setting mine to be a hundred percent and that the layout is a single page so in other words not scrolling it'll just show one page at a time and uh, then down here critical forms and media include all that must be checked or your interactive stuff won't work oh, yes, and then finally i can just click export you will often get this message because indesign is a cmyk program it is not to worry about it it will change it to rgb but go ahead and just click ok and then your pdf will be created so here we are in Acrobat Reader, and uh, that's important to remember, is if you try to open this up in Preview on the Mac, uh, all of your interactivity features won't work. You need to look at it in Acrobat Reader, Acrobat, or Acrobat Pro, and then all of the interactivity will be there. Okay, so let's see if what we did worked. If I click on this arrow here, then I should go to the next page. Voila. Then if I click on this little picture here, I should go to that page. <laughs> and then finally, when I click on the type down here, I should be able to send an email to myself. And son of a gun, I can. In fact, it tells me, it's me. O-M-G.